Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Life is Strange. We're here in the Black Lantern, I think that's the name of this place. And it looks like uh, we got ourselves a job, or at least a trial run for a job, which would be a very convenient job because it's right downstairs from where we live. So yeah, I guess I will um, look around a bit, take some orders. Also, I noticed that um, this game has the same weird quirk as the first Life is Strange game, you know, where it saves not at the end of a cutscene, but at the beginning. So I just had to replay uh, the last five minutes of the game because it's uh, where it started after loading uh, the save. It's such a weird design choice, you know? Why uh, put your save at the beginning of a cutscene? Usually people do not quit a game at the beginning of a cutscene, but at the end of it, right? Anyway, I'm pretty sure I made the same choices and dialogue um, options again, so I should be fine. Now, let's look around a bit. Venison and leek pie. I need to try that. <laughs> Today's specials, venison and leek pie, Denver omelette, Rocky Mountain oysters, jalapeno poppers, broccoli soup. Okay. Also, um, I think the glowing dot means I can like look inside the person. I should and check on those people in the booth. Ducky and Diane. Yes, yes, I will. Patience, my dear. Okay, here we go. I can have a look inside his head. Damn boys, always fighting. Time to grow up. Should have seen Gabe go at it with Dad. He's come a long way. I guess he's angry about Gabe and Mac fighting. Oh hey, someone made a course about my life. The radical acceptance, finding gratitude in the midst of chaos. New course beginning, treasures of Tibet. Okay. Uh, but okay, I guess uh, we will take our first order and we can look around more after that. So let's look at them first. I should check on that table. Okay, let's do it. Can I get you to anything? Miss Chan, here at last to relieve our suspense. Hi. I <laughs> am Reginald McAllister, the third, Ducky to friends, former entrepreneur, now retired, and this young woman is Diane. Hey there. Nice to meet you. I didn't realize that... Uh, that we all knew you were coming? Yes. Gabe is generous with uh, both friendship and information. So I noticed. You're from Portland, right? I moved here from D.C. six months ago. How are you finding the small town thing? Hmm. Kinda bizarre, kinda perfect. <laughs> kinda perfect is a weird way to put it. I mean, it's either perfect or not. But kinda perfect is kind of an oxymoron, is it not? <laughs> um, well, also, I think saying that it's perfect would be a bit of an overstatement after just one day. So let's go with this one. I've been here one day, and I've already hit my hug quota for the year. <laughs> She's funny. Diane is a geologist, recently working as a process manager for Typhon Mining. I'm glad there's another newbie around here, too. Can I get you anything? Oh, yeah, we're super hungry. I'd love a pie special with fries. Cheeseburger with mushrooms, and my usual to drink. Jed will know what to do. Okay. All right, I'll go put that order in. Thanks. Right. My dad was in the service. New dialogue unlocked. Um, I got something on my phone, but maybe let's deliver the order first before I forget about it. Hey, Dad. Yeah. I've got an order from Ducky and Diane. Go ahead. Burger with mushrooms without mushrooms. Cheeseburger with mushrooms without mushrooms. Um, I'm pretty sure it was with mushrooms. Was it a cheeseburger? I think it was a cheeseburger. Yeah. One cheeseburger with mushrooms. Stop confusing uh -huh. me with and? similar options. <laughs> the 
pie special with fries, onion rings, mushrooms. Okay, this one's easy. Fries. One pie special with fries. Ducky asked for his usual? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he's fond of a particular rye whiskey. <laughs> I keep a personal bottle for him. Oh, that's odd. I don't see it. Oh, now wait. <laughs> I bet Ducky took that bottle upstairs last night. Yeah, he and Gabe went on carousing long after closing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Serves him right if you ask me, but feel free to go upstairs and look for it. I'm sure he'd be grateful. Oh, if you can't find it, Deputy Pike was with them. Might have some idea. He's usually in here around now. Probably arriving soon. The... Okay. There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized whiskey. Well, I mean, why don't we ask him about it? Maybe he remembers where he put it, but oh, I can good. I can look in his head. Oh no, in her head. Haven is nice. Just wish it felt like home. Hope we both get there soon. Hmm. Okay, so she hasn't completely arrived yet. Okay, so it's just going to be the same, even though it's still, like, blinking. Um, yeah, let's talk to them again. It's Ducky? Jed thinks you took your whiskey up to Gabe's yesterday. Do you know where you might have left it? I remember absolutely nothing of the <laughs> night. <laughs> really? Maybe check your phone. Did you take any pictures? Call anyone? <clears throat> have a look. People around here are very trustworthy. Just giving me your sake. phone like this? How do I access the photos <laughs> on this thing? What the hell? That's a lot of mail and a lot of messages. How much of that is spam, I wonder? Face M, Face M1, Jet with two J's, Gabe1, Gabe, Dr. W. Yeah, I don't think he's very used uh, to um, phones like these. Um, but okay, I can just look nice. at <laughs> uh, his photos here. That's a selfie. Well, that seems kind of dangerous. Poor Ducky. I shouldn't be reading this. Well, I shouldn't, but I guess I will. Um, can I have a better look at it? Here we go. It has not been easy being your daughter. You cannot simply say you are lonely and expect that I will forget my first 20 years. I will think about your request. The kids are doing well. I have shown them a picture of you, Mabel McAllister. Well, I guess he wasn't a good father, huh? I also wonder where he got his uh, nickname. I mean, his real name isn't anything like Ducky, so <laughs> I wonder where that came from. Sorry, nothing useful. Well, mm. thanks for letting me know. Okay. My dad was in the service. I mean, I guess I could just go upstairs and see if I can find it, but... Maybe... Not a bad company. Once you get I'll used find to a better way. Operate. Right. Yeah, that's what people keep telling me. Takes a minute to learn the ropes, though. Huh? Yeah, I guess. The way they do things is just so... I don't know. <laughs> Idiosyncratic. I got written up for leaving my phone on. It wasn't even on me. But I guess it started vibrating in my locker when I was on duty. Hmm. Yeah, they're sticklers about that stuff. It's a security concern. Interesting. I mean, sure. But it's not like... The CIA, or whatever. We blow the tops off mountains for a living. Look, I hear you, kid. I've been jumping through Typhon's hoop since Noah built the Ark. But things are the way they are. <laughs> sure, I know. I'm just venting. Really, I I like my job. And right. the Oscar goes, too. 
<laughs> Don't fret. I'm not going to turn you in for sedition or anything. Well, right. are you not? <laughs> Don't mention it. If I had to hold in every gripe I have about Typhon, I'd have popped like a damn balloon by now. All right, sorry for that quick cut. I just had to take a phone call. There but yeah, um, I was just uh, invading these two guys' privacy by blatantly eavesdropping on them. And I guess I will invade this guy's privacy even further by looking into his head. Starting over from scratch like this? Fucking terrifying is what it is. You're telling me. Hm. Okay, so he's new in town as well. I see. You can't My extensive wilderness map reading knowledge tells me that there is a whole lot of wilderness around here. <laughs> yeah, there is. Mostly wilderness and like one road. I guess this is like the town and something over here. Maybe like the mine and one way out of it. Backcountry skiing by permit only. Trail maps available at the ranger station. For rattlesnake bites, see Ryan Lucan. For rattlesnake shots, see Jet Lucan. <laughs> okay. What do we got here? Ballot notice. Town of Haven Springs Council vote notice. An official council meeting will be held on May 22nd to decide one measure. This measure proposes selling property of no more than 20 acres to Typhoon Mining for use in an open pit mine. Both the sale profit and subsequent property taxes will be added to the overall budget of Heaven Springs to be divided and spent through standard procedure. More information is available at Town Hall. Talk to a council member if you have any further questions or concerns. Okay. Well, at least they are having a vote on it, I guess. All right. So we got here fishing and big game hunting. Only 45 bucks for the chance to get mauled by a bear. Mm. 2019 Heaven Springs Quick Guide. Limited license applications are due April 26, 29 by 8 p.m. MT. Notice resident license fees have changed. Annual fishing license $25, deer 30, elk 50, bear 45. Oh, the bear's cheaper than the elk. Mountain lion 45. Bighorn sheep 300. Why is the bighorn sheep so expensive? <laughs> uh, I don't know, maybe it's rarer, so you need to pay more if you want to shoot one. Or maybe it's just more uh, popular to shoot for like casual hunters because it's not as dangerous as a lion or a bear. <laughs> And you would think that the prices um, change according to demand. So if a lot of people want to hunt bighorn sheep, that would be more expensive, right? Still kind of weird. Youth licenses under age uh, 18 now available. For further information, please see our website or contact Ryan Lucan, Colorado State Park and Wildlife. Nice. And yeah, there's Steph. Um, I'll be with you in a second. Sweet jukebox. I'll have to check out the song sometime. Hmm. Probably should. What a class act. Jason Pike, Sheriff's Deputy. Yeah, we read about him before. Wow. Tetanus anyone? I hope Brian's got better supplies. <laughs> yeah, this first aid kit looks like it already saw some use in World War II or something. Gabe, just do what your boss says. Oh dear, what do we got here? Fire department, taxi, snowplow, boiler, Gabe, Jose, Gabe? Tap's broken again. Jay fixed, how did he do it? Just jiggled it a little, smart ass. Damn, tap again. <laughs> What's that? Guy will do it for 100, I'll do it for 85. <laughs> Thinking I might finally raise the rent this year. Fixed. Okay, so he wanted to fix it himself. Huh. And someone made like a little painting as well. Um, okay, uh, I thought there was something over here. Yes, look and family photo. Oh, is that really Ryan? 
I guess so. The Lucan family spring 2000. And this gotta be Jet in his prime, I suppose. <laughs> Um, yeah, maybe let's uh, take Steph's order now, although it looks like she already has something here. That looks radioactive. Well, it might be. Uh, yeah, let's look at her first. That's the girl from the record store. Steph. That's an astute observation. Let's uh, get her order. Alex, right? I'm Steph. Hey. Just seeing if you need food or anything. Oh no, I'm good. Thanks though. Sorry I couldn't hang out at the record store. I've got some time now though if you want to chat. Sure. Or are you waiting for someone? Who are you sitting with? What are you working on? Is it your shot? Um, can I ask all of it or do I have to pick one? If that is the case, maybe let's start with this one. What are you working on? Is that record store inventory? <laughs> no, it's character stats. I Do you see. know what a LARP is? <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure she does. She seems nerdy enough. Sure. Live action roleplay, right? Fantasy fighting in real life? Yep. Gabe was talking about a LARP with Ethan. Yeah, it's next week. They're coming with me. It's their first time. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Would you ever want to join us sometime? I'd give it a try. Not much of an actor. Well, still might be fun. Sure, I'd try it. If you and Gabe both like it, it must be super fun. Awesome. Um, so, yeah. Is someone sitting here with you? So, are you, um with somebody or that's Ryan's stuff apparently he ditched me for Gabe they went to get hey. first aid <laughs> being a hero again Ryan's always doing that <laughs> it's a Lucan family thing have you heard about Jed's rescue no. it was a big deal back when he was a minor he said I can't imagine Alex wants an earload of Haven trivia just now sorry well... Jed I might. Sounds like an interesting story. He doesn't like to brag, but there's stuff about it all over the place if you look. Interesting. Okay. So I just have to look around a bit and I will figure it out. Um, yeah, what about that radioactive drink? Is that your shot? What is that? This is bedazzled kiwi schnapps. Mm. No one's ever ordered it, so Gabe's trying to get rid of it with the jukebox game. What's a jukebox game? It's like a short version of 20 questions, where you're trying to guess a song, guess wrong. <laughs> you have to take the shot. <laughs> Ryan and I are going to play. You want to take his place? Um, yeah, I guess I will give it a try. Of course, it's probably going to feature a lot of bands that... I don't know, because they're either too obscure or just completely made up. Dude, you're on. <laughs> yes. I mean, I'm sure that Alex is knowledgeable, but I have to give the answers. So, I'll pick a song. You have five yes or no questions before you have to guess it. Okay. Let's do it. Got one. Jukebox is all yours. So, what do you want to hmm. ask me? Hmm. I should flip through these and see what might be good to ask. Okay. Use A and D to scroll through albums. Ictiosis. Three sheets to the wind. Think of the children. Alabaster daydreams. Vic and Nasty, blame the monkey brain. Perik, check rays. Endurance for electronics, mind the damn porridge. <laughs> okay, okay, now I'm like 95% sure that these are made up band names and song names and that they're probably made by a random word generator. <laughs> 
These are just too weird. Jora Lemon, G-Line Transfer. <laughs> the covers are kind of weird as well. Grams McGovern, give me a hand and kick your own ass. I kind of want to listen to that one. Seward's Folly, go dotty go. Sandra Styles Heartstrings. The Millionaire, Hero with a Thousand Rhymes. The Fuckadelics, Kiss Up and Shut Me. <laughs> that sounds interesting too. Fusky and Wax, Mildred Cross and the Watermelon Floss Brigade. The Who Knows, Mrs. Beatrix and I. Theodosius, Ordinary Judas. I was saying Buerns, Panoramica. Tommy Tiger and the Tummy Tigers. <laughs> St. John. Ampersand. Shit gets real. Interesting cover too. Cold cocked. Should have been me yesterday. <laughs> what kind of cover is that though? McFadden. Unfuck yourself. Doc Scruffin. Words hands. Okay. These are all the songs. And these are the questions. Song title questions, band name questions, cover art questions, personal questions. Does this mean I can ask her something? But then I won't be winning the game if I if I use my questions to ask her something. <laughs> priorities, priorities. Maybe I can guess the proper uh, song before I use up all my questions and then I can ask her something. Um, I don't know. The cover uh, arts are all very um, unique, so maybe we get a nice option here. Picture of an animal, people on cover, has the band name. Hmm. I mean, there are quite a few that have animals on the cover, so I guess that would potentially exclude quite a few. Although I'm not entirely sure if these are supposed to be animals. They could be like monkeys <laughs> or they could be humans. I mean, they're made from balloons, but... And would this count as an animal? X-rayed monkey? But yeah, let's let's ask picture of an animal. Is there an animal on the cover art? Uh, no. No animals. Oh, okay. Too bad. Some of these are really cute. I know, right? Uh, okay. Well, that does exclude quite a few already. Um, do we have any other interesting cover art questions? Um, people on cover has the band name. Well, I mean, I guess there are still quite a few covers without animals um, that have band names on them so I guess I could cut down the number even further if I pick this one is the band name on the cover yep okay no animal but the name of the band so what options do we have here I'm going to assume that these are not animals, that these are supposed to be humans. So it's not... it. So it could be this one. Also, is this actually the um, cover? Uh, I don't know. Um, I'm guessing this is an animal, so this is not it. It's not this one, it's not this one, it's not this one. It could be this one. It's not this one, it's an animal could be this one. It can't be this one. Could be this one. Uh, can't be this one. Can't be this one. Can't be this one. Could be this one. Can't be this one. Can't be this one. Can't be this one. Could be this one. Could be this one. I know animals I can see. Okay, um, so I guess I should ask something different now. Song title questions do we have? Punctuation. Um, do we really have a lot of song titles with punctuation? Four words or more. 
Um, yeah, I mean... There are definitely some... That could be... That could be the right song that have four words or more. Like this one, for example. Or this one. Um, yeah, let's let's ask this one. Does the song have a long title, like four words or more? Yes. Interesting. Ooh, okay. You've got two questions left. Two questions left. Okay. Can I narrow it down to one with just one more question? So which which are still um, available? Um, I guess it's one. Again, I'm working under the assumption that these are not animals. <laughs> um, it could also be uh, this one. Yeah, which means we still have at least two possibilities. It could be this one. Um, okay, so I basically have three options, which means I now have to find like a question to narrow it down to one. Um, what band name questions do we have? A symbol, one word, has a person's name. Okay, a person's name would rule out this one and would leave me with two potential options. <laughs> has a symbol. Um, I guess this one has a symbol. One word. One word would rule out this one. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Um, I don't know. Whatever I pick is only going to eliminate one option. Um, do we have any other interesting song title questions? Curse word. Kiss up and shut me. <laughs> That's not really curse word, right? I mean, this one would be one. Kick your own ass. It's not really helping either. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going for a band name question. So does it have a symbol? Does the band name have a symbol in it? Like something that's not just a letter? Oh. Yeah, it totally does. Uh, nice. Okay. Last question. Yeah, alright, I know. Okay, well, in that case, I am somewhat certain that it's, um... this one with a symbol so I'm going to waste my last question on a personal question a long time fan why do you like it when did you last hear it ah well, that's interesting so why do you like it why do you like this song so I guess we're breaking the yes or no questions only rule hmm. can you handle it <laughs> so why do I like this song the lyrics crack me up even the title's pretty goofy. Ah. Reminds me of fun times, I guess. Goofy yeah. title, you say? Hmm. That's your five. Ready to guess? Yeah. yeah. Let me look through one last time. Here's what I know. The band name does have a symbol in it. The song title is at least four words long. No animals on the cover. The band name is on the cover. The title's kind of goofy think that's enough to figure it out? We'll see. Okay, now I'm pretty sure this is the correct one. Let's let's guess this one. <laughs> Fuck. Nice one. <clears throat> guess I'm drinking? <laughs> you are.
<laughs> oh, hey, thanks for playing. I'm really glad we did. Me You're too. welcome. I should get back to work. Okay. There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized whiskey. Yeah, right. I'm still, still trying to find that as well. <laughs> Um, I mean, there's a large part of the pub over here that I haven't checked out yet. You still want to hit the trails later this week? Are you kidding? I've been waiting for this all year. I have a few favorites we can start with, and then we'll go from there. Teller's Peak? Yep, and Mount Huron, and the Devil's Tail. Amazing. I love Maine, but I need to hike some real mountains. <laughs> But first, you're gonna get the full Haven experience, starting right here in the famous Black Lantern. Oh, it's pretty... eclectic. <laughs> Do you think Mom and Dad will like it? I was thinking of bringing them here too. Oh, yeah. Old Wood is Dad's favorite aesthetic. <laughs> so, she sounds how sarcastic. was getting here? Longer drive than you thought? actually got kind of lost. <laughs> Did you ask for directions? I wouldn't need directions if the signage didn't stink. <laughs> uh, you're just stubborn. <laughs> hey, I am not. Well, don't get lost hiking. There usually isn't much signage in the wilderness. This one's from yesterday. Hold up. It was Colonel Ducky on Gabe's couch oh. with the bottle. There we go. We found our clue. So it is upstairs. Probably somewhere near the couch. Um, well, in that case, I guess I will head upstairs and try to get it. Oh, I need to interact with that specific spot over here. There we go. All right, let's see if I can find Ducky's whiskey up here. Right. Also, um, I have been told that apparently I can also um, gather some emotions from objects. And now I do notice that um, some of these are blinking as well. It just didn't occur to me that things could have emotions as well. Let's have a look. But it looks like Mr. John Chin lives in Miguel County about Ooh. six months after his arrival. Yeah, is, is there like a forwarding address on file? I'm sorry, sir. That's not information we retain. Thanks again for calling the San Miguel County Clerk's Office. Have a pleasant afternoon. No, 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 no. Hey, don't. <laughs> All right. He was frustrated, apparently. Because he didn't get the information he wanted. Oh, yeah, there's another blinking spot over here. I hit Gabe because of this stupid mess. No, oh, no, no. I don't want to read it. I want to look into it. Right. I'm telling you. His story doesn't add up. He wants you. He's helping me get into college, baby. You know dudes can do nice things without the expectation of getting laid, <laughs> right? A high school dropout? A guy who went to fucking juvie? Wants to be your study buddy? What, out of the goodness of his heart? Oh my god, Mac, we're friends. There is nothing going on between Gabe and me. Alright, so that's a drama between Riley and Mac. Okay. Anyway, let's see if we can find that bottle. Yeah, we can look at the couch now. I'm pretty sure we couldn't do that before. If Ducky fell asleep here last night, maybe the bottle's nearby. Well, let's look for it. Ha! There we go. Mockery Hill, straight rye whiskey, small batch, 100 proof. I have no idea what any of that means. I mean, I know what rye whiskey is, but the rest. <laughs> but okay, it's still intact and there's still some whiskey in it. Found this upstairs. In Gabe's couch? 
<laughs> what a relief! Many thanks, Alex. You're welcome. Put in a good word with whom? Uh, I don't know. Let's just pick my pleasure. My pleasure, Ducky. Can I pour you a glass? Uh, no, no. Allow me. To Miss Alex Chen, a most tenacious detective. To Alex. Cheers. <laughs> Drinking oh. on the job. <sighs> but we made one customer very happy, so My dad was I would call that a success. Um... But okay, uh, I guess there's more stuff for me to look at over here. Next to the hiker couple. Maybe I'll see a circus one day. Once hm. I'm better with crowds. P. Ordley's traveling circus, wild beasts, acrobats, feats of strength. <laughs> okay. What do we got here? Blasting caps. Guess these were for mining. Probably. Blasting caps, keep dry, spams generic, uh, John Ron Company, Wreck US Patent Office, keep dry, Moops Blasting Company, High Safety Squip Space Heater Number Two, Highly Dangerous Match for Fast Detonation, Please use caution and clear area before lighting, 100 count, keep dry. Van Nostrand blasting caps handle with care and keep away from fire. That sounds reasonable. Oh, a bullet hole. What happened here? Damn. I wonder if the bullet's still in there. Here, Jack Henry shot at William Porter over four aces and paid with his life. Okay. So, who died? <laughs> Jack Henry paid with his life, even though he's the one who shot at William Porter. So did he shoot back or <laughs> was he arrested and executed for attempted murder? I, I need to know the full story of this. This is uh, not enough information. But it must have been a very big deal because they framed the bullet hole. Rest in peace, mister. The... All right. Um, I think we have something over here. Yes, we do. Restaurant review. Unusually personable staff. Nicely done, big bro. Okay. Boulder Weekend, October 2017. Food and wine, the Black Lantern. Pub fare served right. American dollars, 3.7 food, 4.7 decor, 4.9 service. A menu of standard pub fare serviceably prepared with occasional standout specials is elevated by unusually personable staff, exceptional service and quirky patrons, creating a uniquely uplifting experience well worth the drive into remote Haven Springs, Colorado. I don't know, 3.7 is not exactly a glowing review for the food. So it's more like the people and the atmosphere than the food. It's worth coming here. News clipping. Is there anything this woman can't do? A Coloradan canvas. When I met Charlotte Harmon in her home studio last month, both her and her coffee mug were covered in paint. Yes, I'm a cliche, she beamed as she led me towards her latest creation, a gorgeous portrait of local business owner Eleanor Leary, part oil painting, part lacquered bouquet. Very few surfaces in our house are free of paint. I'm okay with that, she continued. You're probably familiar with Mrs. Harmon's work, thanks to her commission from the town council to decorate the walking path of Main Street. The massive outdoor mural fittingly titled Haven Springs captures our small slice of earth nestled in the Colorado mountains. It was such a wonderful experience, Mrs. Harmon recalled. Everyone supported me during the process and Jet basically fed my family for a month 
when, which was great because the lantern makes the best burgers in town. You can print it and it's uh, highlighted. Maybe to uh, offset the uh, mediocre review on the other side. Now Mrs. Harmon is looking to deepen her connection to Haven Springs and start a small business. No easy task for a working artist. Okay. Um, yeah, looks like I'm done here, but we still have this room and the jerk sitting in it. Yep. Shit. Now Max's scared. <laughs> well, at least he's not freaking not out anymore. Thing. He won't make me lose control. And he will probably stay away from me for a while if he's scared. What do we got 19 here? 19 lives? Jed is a real hero. A service above self presented with gratitude to Jed Lucan for unflagging courage and outstanding devotion to duty and saving the 19 lives of his team. Rotary Club of Haven Springs, 2008. Okay, so I guess he saved 19 miners probably in some kind of mining accident. That would make sense. A newsletter. Haven seems pretty serious about this festival. Only two spots left in bread baking competition. There are only two spots remaining in the bread baking competition for this year's spring festival. This year's theme is seeds and nuts. Interested participants should call Isabel ASAP at 555-902. The grand prize winner last year was Peter Gowers with a garlic asiago loaf. Typhoon Mining sponsors raffle for Caribbean cruise. The Spring Festival will have another raffle this year and the big and the big prize is a seven-day cruise in the Caribbean. Airfare is included. The prize was donated by Typhoon Mining. Raffle proceeds benefit the Haven Springs Firehouse at the Haven Springs Historical Preservation Society. Tickets can be purchased ahead of time at Town Hall or at the festival. Yeah, they certainly do a lot of preparations for this. Oh, I don't want to interrupt your game over here. Coupons for weed? What a time to be alive. <laughs> Shop at the Silver Dragon. Recreational and medical. 20% off any product. Flowers, candies, cooking butter. I guess that these are different types of weed. I wouldn't know, honestly. <laughs> Okay, what do we got here? How mysterious. Amelia Rossum Goldstein. On this site, Amelia Goldstein operated a bed and breakfast for nine years, known for its beautiful rooftop garden. She died at the age of 32 of influenza. Though married shortly before her death, the identity of her husband remains a mystery. That is mysterious indeed. <laughs> I wonder if this is going to play a role at some point or if this just some background knowledge. Um, okay, I can look into his head again. Uh, let's do this later. There's some more stuff over here. Yeesh. Glad I'm not a 19th century miner. <laughs> a tech board used in Teller Mine around 1880. Each miner removed his check tech as he entered the mine and replaced it on the board when he had safely exited. Okay, so they could always see if someone was still in the mine. That makes sense. Yep. Haven seems pretty proud of its mining history. Clearly. Okay, these are the bottles I'm supposed to clean up. And apparently we have another Arcadia, Arkanoid. G-A-B. That's gotta be Gabe, right? But who is S? Have we met anyone who would fit those um, initials? <laughs> I can't think of any at the moment. Okay, controls left, right, or mouse left, right, or AD left, right, fire, space, or left mouse button. Destroy all bricks, collect power-ups, next level. 
Laser fires. Vows? Vows fires lasers. Creates, creates an exit. Slow velocity of ball. Expand. Extend vows. What's a vows? Catching ability. Earn extra vows. Disruption splits ball into eight. Okay. Ah, sure. I guess I'll give it a try. Let's do it. Yeah, this is kind of familiar. Oh, um, no, 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 I want to continue. <laughs> well, I kind of suck. I guess I'll give it one more try. Okay, that's much better. can catch some power-ups here while the ball is trapped behind all the bars. <laughs> right, got another power-up. Should I also try to destroy these balloons? Probably, huh? Oh, now I missed the power up. <laughs> but my platform is expanding, or is that the vows? <laughs> I guess that's what it is. Um, well, that was a close call. <laughs> no! <laughs> well, okay, I could continue this, but maybe I should actually play the, the real game and not the game within the game. So I think I'm going to leave the arcade now. <laughs> uh, it's kind of fun, though. Um, yeah, sure. Let's see what he's thinking about. Wow, I messed Mac up pretty good. Yep, you did a good job on him. Idiot. You're gonna lose her. You're gonna lose her and it's all your fault. At least he's right about something. Mm -hmm. I agree. <laughs> okay, let's clean up these bottles. Jed asked me to clear that off. Let's do it. Uh-oh. Holy shit. <laughs> Can I talk to you real quick? Uh, yeah, sure. What do you want? What do you want? Listen, what happened upstairs was fucked up, right? From both of us. <laughs> Mainly you, yes, I, I would agree. But um, I will give you a moment to explain what uh, your point is. Where are you going with this? Look, Riley's headed over here. She's pretty heated. I, I, I don't think it helps to recap all the gory details, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Meaning what? So you want me to lie to her? So you're saying you want me to lie to cover your ass? No. No, just like... Let me handle it. Look, she's gonna break up with me otherwise. We've been together four years. She is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Mm. So please, help me out. I don't know. I don't know, man. Yeah. Shit. You seem to be very what the fuck manipulative. What is wrong with you? Oh my god. Look at your face. No, it's okay. Don't even. What were you thinking? Where's Gabe? Why do you give a shit? Because my boyfriend just got into a fight with him. I swear. This is it. You 
better have a good explanation or... We're done. It's, It's not my fault. I just wanted to talk to the guy. About what? About you! About... Why you guys are meeting behind my back. Okay. So how did the fight happen? The bastard sucker punched me. (laughs) Okay, um... Not exactly sucker punched, but... He definitely started it. Oh god. Were you there too? I kinda was. Call out Max bullshit, avoid further trouble. Well, I mean, I don't think she's going to blame this on her brother. Um, she already put him into enough trouble by, you know, getting involved and in beating up Max, so um, this is only going to make it worse. Plus, I'm getting, like, really bad vibes from this guy. And the problem is that apparently he can be, like, very charming if he wants to, and I, I guess that way he was able to keep Riley with him for all this time, even though he's clearly um, manipulative and very, very jealous and violent. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to cover for, for this jerk and uh, blame it on on on, uh, on the brother, so nope. Easiest decision ever. Yeah, I was there. Max telling you a whole lot of bullshit. You know what? That doesn't even surprise me anymore. So what really happened? Riley. Mac barged in, accused Gabe of sleeping with you, sucker punched him, and then kicked him while he was down. Riley, listen. What happened to Mac's face? I did that. Well, good. <laughs> it sounds like he deserved it. Thanks for telling me the truth, Alex. Wait. Wait, are you... are we okay? Are you fucking serious? I'm so embarrassed by you right now. But are we still together? What do you think, you fucking idiot? No. Well, I just broke up the couple, Alex but Chen? probably for the best. Uh... Assaulting Mac Loudon on your first day here, huh? <laughs> Sorry. I'm Jason Pike, the deputy sheriff. Right. I'm going to take you in for questioning. Um, well, maybe you should take in Mac as well, because he kind of started it. Mac assaulted Gabe. He's the one you want. (laughs) Your face. (laughs) You should see your face. Oh, (laughs) jeez. No, I'm only kidding. Nobody's in trouble here, right? Even I just like to prank each other. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been pranked by a cop before. <laughs> you definitely got me. <laughs> Thanks for being a good sport. Can I buy you a drink? Um, maybe. I'm working right now. Well, I'll be at the bar. You want one, you just come by, okay? Right. <sighs> right. <sighs> Uh, everyone around here is just too nice. Well, except Meg. I still get very bad vibes from him. But okay, um, I guess this is a good time to end the episode. I mean, I probably will have to replay the last few minutes again, because <laughs> I don't know where the game is going to start when I load it up again. But yeah, um, for now, let's call it a day, as always. Thank you for watching, and see you again next time.